In this video, we're gonna run through my top recommendations for royalty-free stock footage right now, including both our picks for free stock video sites, as well as the premium paid options and the key differences that you need to know. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help you amplify your business and brand with video. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. Now, I'm a big fan of stock video for almost any video creator because it can easily take your videos to a whole new level in a fraction of the time that it takes to shoot your own B-roll. It's an amazing tool to really help you tell your story, to communicate in visuals what you're saying, or even use it just to cover up any mistakes or any glitches in your videos or anything you don't want your viewers to see. Oh, still going. And right now, times are great for video creators. There's an absolute ton of stock video sites out there to choose from, but that also means that it can be hard to know where to start. So that's why we're creating an updated review of the options that are out there to help you cut through all the noise and skip straight to the best stock video sites. So we're gonna start off first with the free options so that you can see what's out there, and then we'll work our way into the paid ones. Now, if you are just looking at free, I would strongly suggest hearing out why we also recommend the paid options because there is a big difference and it can be well worth the dollars for a lot of people. So as for the free options, as you know, if you've ever Google searched this, there is way too many out there to choose from. But my top ones come down to these three. Stock footage for free, Pexels and Pixabay. So out of all the options out there, those are my top three picks because they actually do a decent job at offering stock video footage for free. They don't overcomplicate things when it gets to licensing or restrictions and what you can and can't do with the footage or where you can and can't upload it. They make it pretty straightforward. And for the most part, there really are no restrictions on what you can and can't do or where those footage clips are going. And in most cases, you don't even need to worry about offering some sort of credit or attribution to the content creator for those clips. So while those three are good options, if you're looking for a free solution here, they definitely fall short of the paid options for a few reasons. The first one is that the actual size of the catalog or the library is usually a lot smaller on those versus the paid options. The paid options, they invest in buying and licensing a whole heap of stock footage so that when you search for something, you're more likely to have a lot to choose from for that specific search than maybe one or two clips or maybe none. So the size of the library or size of the catalog is the first one. The next one is the searching capabilities. The paid services are going to give you so much more control to really dial in the search to be able to find specifically what you are after. You could really dive deep on this stuff and even go as far as how many people are in the shot, how many men, how many women. You get so much more control and so much more power behind the searching to help you find the footage faster. Because if you've ever actually looked for stock footage and it's the same with stock music, as there is so much out there, the hardest part is actually finding the clips that match what you're after. So even just having access to those more powerful search features is an absolute game changer when it comes to finding this stuff fast and alone is definitely worth the money. But the other main reasons that you would really wanna consider the paid options over the free options is the quality of the video content that you're getting access to. They are far superior. In most cases, they're shot by professionals. So your footage is gonna look so much better on the paid sites, but also the licensing. For the most part, the licensing is far more straightforward and simpler. I know I said that those three free ones had decent licensing, but most of them out there don't. And there are strong restrictions around what you can and can't do with the footage and where your end product can end up because of it. So the licensing is something that you really want to look at before you start using these clips in your videos. But on the paid side of things, this is so much more straightforward. And if you're someone who's going to be monetizing your videos or you're creating videos for clients or you're creating videos for broadcast, you really need to make sure that your licensing is 100% so that you don't have any issues with your content later on. And also because these are paid services, what you'll usually find is that you're not just seeing these same clips in everyone's video clips. With the free stuff, that is something you can see because there's a lot of people out there just looking for the free option. You tend to see a lot of those same stock clips used over and over in people's videos. So if you wanna stand out and not use the same stuff that everyone else is, 
it's another good reason to look at the paid options. Now, I also wanna say here at this point that no matter if you're looking at the free sites or you're looking at the paid options, there really is no perfect solution. It's really gonna come down to which one of these sites has the clips that you're after to help tell the story in your video. So for us, there really is no one perfect solution, one size fits all, just go here and they're going to have everything solution. You really wanna be looking at multiple of these until you find the clips that you are after. All right, so now onto the paid stuff. And as I said, this is where your libraries of footage, the catalogs are going to be generally much, much bigger, much more in depth. So for our shortlist then for top paid stock video sites, that includes Storyblocks, which was Video Blocks, ArtGrid, which is kind of a new kid on the block, Invado Elements, and Shutterstock. Now the first three of those, Storyblocks, ArtGrid, and Invado Elements are all subscription based, meaning that you pay a monthly fee or an annual fee and then you get access to their entire library. So in my opinion, this is a far better model because you'll pay once and then you can just use their content as much as you want in your videos without needing to worry about purchasing each individual clip as you use it. What you'll probably find then is that you end up using more stock footage if you don't have to pay for each individual clip manually. But also the cost savings with these plans is just ridiculous compared to some of the sites out there and what they're charging per clip. Now with each one of these sites, obviously the pricing plans and things are a little bit different. So we're gonna jump into that now. So Storyblocks is really broken down into three areas. They have video, which was video blocks. They have an audio section, which was audio blocks. And then they have an images or stock images section as well. So if you're just after stock video footage, there are two plans that you can look at. The first is their basic plan, which starts around $8.25 per month or 99 annually and that will give you five downloads per month. The next one up from there is their unlimited plan, and this starts around $16.58 per month, or $1.99 billed annually. And this gives you unlimited access, so unlimited downloads, not just from their primary library, but also from their member library as well. And it also includes access to their After Effects templates too. Now, if you're looking for stock audio and stock images as well, then that's where their unlimited all access plan is actually really good. So for around $29 per month or $349 for an annual fee, that's where you get the unlimited access to the video, but also unlimited access to audio and their stock images too. Now Storyblocks has really come a long way in what they're offering here. This is now a really great deal considering you get access to their normal library and also the members library as well. Previously, when we did a video like this, that was one of the downsides in that you were paying them, but you didn't get access to all the user generated content as well, which in most cases actually had some of the better stuff that you would then have to purchase as an additional expense. So they've fixed that now, it's one fee and it gives you access to all of it. So it's good. So the next one then is ArtGrid. And this one, as I said, is the new kid on the block. But where this one stands out, this one is really designed for, I would say, filmmakers or for content creators that are looking for really high quality, high polished, filtered content. This really isn't just average handy cam stuff. This is really nice slow motions, really nice drone shots, really nice time lapses, really the stuff that you would wanna put in a film or in a high quality piece of content. Now as for amount of content and how big their library is, it's growing, it's growing fast, but it's definitely not as big as the other options that we are covering here, but they do have that filtering in place where they're not just letting anyone upload to their platform, there's actually really only high quality stuff on there. Now they've currently got three different pricing plans to get access to their footage. They have a junior plan, which starts at around $25 a month. That will give you access to all of their HD footage. So if you're after things like 4K, or you want some more professional codecs, then that's where you need to look at some of their higher plans. So the next one up from that is the Creator 4K. Obviously that's where you get access to the 4K footage. And that starts at $40 per month. And also on that plan, you get access to ProRes and DNX HR videos as well. So they're the more professional codecs or video formats. And the next one then, their professional plan is obviously aimed at professionals. And that will give you access to all of the video files on their platform, including video files that were shot in RAW or Log. So that professional plan starts at $50 per month. The next site then is Invado Elements. Now this one, in the scheme of things, really hasn't been around too long either and is something that they are still actively building out. But once again, you're paying either a monthly fee or an annual fee to get access to 
an absolute ton of footage. But in this case here with Envato Elements, you're also getting so much more than just stock video clips. Just like Storyblocks where they had their video section, their images section, and their audio section, Envato actually has something very similar. So in your subscription for Envato Elements, you actually get unlimited downloads of everything from graphics and PowerPoint presentation templates, WordPress themes and plugins, stock photos, video templates from their stock video template library, Video Hive, which is one that we strongly recommend you use if you're looking for motion graphics and intros and those sorts of things for your videos. Plus, they also give you access to music tracks, sound effects, and they've got courses and eBooks and those sorts of things in there as well. And in regards to pricing, it works at around $16.50 per month if you're paying annually. So while this is a great resource for stock video clips, it's also an amazing deal given that you get access to all of that extra stuff as well. So that brings us then to the last stock video website on our shortlist, which is Shutterstock. Now Shutterstock is the only one here on our shortlist that isn't some sort of unlimited plan or unlimited subscription to download as many clips as you would like for the length of your subscription. But it has the biggest library out of all of the ones that we have mentioned here. And that's really why it's made the shortlist. There have been times where I haven't found what I'm looking for on any of those other sites, and then I've jumped across to Shutterstock and found a ton of options for the specific clip or type of clip that I've been looking for. So there actually haven't been too many cases where I haven't been able to find anything close to what I want on Shutterstock. But obviously the pricing is a little bit different. Instead of being a monthly subscription for an unlimited access, you actually have the option to pay per clip, which the starting price for a single clip is $79. Or you can purchase the clips in packs of either five, 10, or 25. Five clips at around $359. 10 clips at 699 or 25 clips at 1,579. So you can see, totally different to the other options that we have mentioned here, but it does have the biggest library. So those are our top picks for best stock video sites. Now, as for which ones we use and what our priority order is for visiting those sites to find the clips that we're after for our videos, first and foremost, we will go to story blocks or video blocks and search for the types of clips that we want on there. And for the most part, we find exactly what we're looking for. I'd say the majority of B-roll that is used in our YouTube videos is from Storyblocks. Onwards from that, we will take a look at Artgrid. If we either can't find what we're looking for on Storyblocks, or if we know that we are looking for something that was professionally shot, we're looking for a nice slow-mo, a nice drone shot, then we know that that's the stuff that is on Artgrid. So we jump in and take a look there. If we still can't find that specific shot that we are looking for, then that's when we would go to Envato Elements, or even as a last resort, I would go and check out Shutterstock as well, if it was worth us spending that money just for that single clip. Now for any client work or corporate work or documentaries, it was really a no-brainer for us to go and jump into Shutterstock and to buy the clips individually for those projects because of the amount of time we were saving knowing that when we performed a search we were going to get so many more search results that were so specific for what it was we we're after so it was more the convenience of having access to a good library a good sized library but also a good search functionality as well and obviously with those corporate projects more so on the documentary side of things we really had to make sure that our licensing was good to be able to get documentaries on places like Netflix and that we were using the right license for those sorts of things. So Storyblocks though right now is our number one go-to for stock video. I really like that it's got a decent library. It does have a good search functionality there as well. And for the most part, that one fee that we're paying for an annual subscription is gonna cover most of the stock video footage that we will use for the entire year. So now that you've got your stock video site sorted, if you're also interested in finding the best stock music sites, then check out the video linked on screen where we take you through the best options. And I'll see you in the next one.